What's up everyone, a new series of big events are coming this Friday, in two days in fact, the 7th of June and for one entire week. We have the same kind of interface as usual with the different events. We have some packs at the bottom and the shop to use the currency we are going to obtain in the lucky event. We are going to have some daily quests as always to obtain some stuff to spend in the battle pass I suppose to obtain more items and more stuff to try our luck in the lucky event. We are going to have that mini game. I suppose that we are going to need to defend the treasure in the middle by defeating the opponents that are coming at the middle. It reminds me the events with the hammers we had in the past. But I don't know exactly what we are going to have to do to defeat the opponents. Are we going to need to to click on them or to use something special to defeat them I don't know yet and then that's the lucky event with the new pack decoration the parachute and the new weapon do we say parachute in English in French we call that a parachute but I'm not sure about that let me know in the comment below and the weapon is pretty good looking I'm pretty sure that many players are gonna love that as always we are gonna have an awakening crystal probably after 650 draws on the guarantee some soul crystals and mount and powerment gear and I suppose that the magazines are gonna be the currency for the shop we need to spend some cases that we are probably gonna get in the battle pass after spending the currencies we are gonna have in the daily quests as always it's the same kind of event as usual so that's the new weapon, the new artifact. Bleed damage, 50% of your basic attack ignores damage immunity, reducing the target's crit resistance by 1%, stacking up to 20 times. And it's increasing your global attack by 10%. But as always, you can have that reward after spending between 400 or 500 euros if you are not lucky to obtain that earlier during your pools. So good luck to everyone in advance. I hope that for once I'm not gonna have to spend 500 euros on that event. And then you have that back decoration. Uh, the text is really long so you don't have all the details. I'm gonna explain to you what it does. In fact, at the beginning of the battle, you are gonna have a shield equal to 4% of your max HP and 5% more attack. Then when you fall down below 75% for the first time, you are gonna have another shield equal to 8% of your max HP and 5% extra attack as well. And then once you fall down below 50% HP for the first time, you are gonna have another shield equal to 8% of your max HP and 5% extra attack again. And then it's giving to you 10% global health. So that's a pretty good backpack in my opinion. And then we are going to have some new costumes. So that's the men version and the woman version. So that's all I have about these events. Then we had an update today in the game, adding a few stuff. First of all, when you click here, you have the recall shroom. In fact, you have a code and you have to share that with different players to recall them. If they use your code and if they remain active multiple days, you are going to have more rewards. On the right, you are going to have a few red diamonds if the players you recall log in multiple days. On the middle tab, you can get more red diamonds after spending in the game. Okay, that's only a few, so it doesn't matter that much. And finally, on the first tab, you have that wheel in which you can claim some, re some rewards after recalling some players. If you want to do that, you can claim my code written on the screen. I also added that code at the description of my video, so it's going to be easier for you to copy-paste it. And if you are a returning player, if you haven't logged during 8 entire days and come back, then you can claim these rewards. Then, if we check the mounts, the artifacts and the pack decorations on the upgrade preview, they added the 5 next stars. After upgrading a mount, an artifact or a pack decoration 5 times, you are gonna increase the efficiency of, of its skill. From that to that with 5 yellow stars, and if you have a 5 purple stars, you are gonna have that skill after. But hey, don't expect to see that someday, because if it's the same as for the decoration in the parking walls, remember my pepe door? I got the first purple star, and now now I need to spend 4 different copies to get only 1 extra star and then it's gonna be 5 copies. In fact to upgrade one of these to 5 purple stars you need 30 copies in total. Yes, 30 copies. And to have the 5 yellow stars you need like 8 copies if I remember correctly so that's a ton. So good luck to upgrade your stuff. Then if we check the tech park they increase the limit on the 
the three last items to pick to 999 so in fact you will always be able to use your ore in that content why not i suppose that some top spenders already reached the level 40 we had before as a limitation so now they can spend more they did that mainly because of the tech rush events i'm pretty sure of that so the spenders are not stuck they can still spend their ore then if we check the prayer statue, now we have a 5 different sets, we are not stuck at 3, so I started to grow another one to prepare for a mage set. So that's pretty cool. Then they added a security to the family brawl. In fact, when it started, before apparently, I'm not a guild leader, so I don't know about that. So let me know in the comment below if it's your case. Apparently, during this battle period, during the week, the guild leaders were able to remove some players from towers. And now it's not possible anymore. And in the ruined ancient city, they updated the display of the level switch button. But I have no entry left, so I can't have a look at that. Okay, guys, that was all for this news. And now let me talk about something else. Next week on Monday, we are going to have a new series of crossover events, The Age of Discovery. In that content, in fact, as always, you are going to have four different servers. You are going to share the same map and you are going to have four different corners. One server in every corner. And the goal is going to be to go to the middle of the map. You are going to have some different buildings and terrains apparently on the map to power up your ship, to upgrade your equipment. You are going to have a watching tower to get some AFK rewards and more stats for that content only. And I suppose that the goal is going to be to reach the middle of the screen and defeat the others. It's gonna last one entire month, almost 21 days in fact, and it looks pretty good for now. I don't have more information about that, but I know that we are gonna have a captain for the ship. How many ships are we gonna have? I don't know, but maybe one per server, and the strongest player of the server is gonna be the captain, or maybe we are gonna have four, five, six different ships with different members of our servers, with different captains, so we could take different directions on the map. I don't know more about that we are gonna find out on Monday and these are some rewards we can claim so we will know more on Monday I hope you enjoyed that video if it's the case as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe have a nice day guys and see you in the next video bye bye